Hey guys, welcome to Digital Srini channel on YouTube and this video is specifically recorded upon some of your request which is about detecting straight lines in images yeah, of course using uh, Python. Now before jumping into the code let's uh, quickly understand how uh, you know Hoff transformation which is what we are going to use to detect these straight lines actually uh, works and what does it uh, what does it mean. Now when we talk about straight lines how do we represent them? Typically, we write this as an equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the intercept it makes uh, with the y-axis. Okay. Now, you can uh, represent the straight line in a different parameter space called r and theta, where r is the distance from a, a specific point. In this case, I picked this origin. And remember, this origin can be down here, uh, down below, or on the top left if you have an image. I, I believe in scikit image, it looks at the top left as the reference point, but it doesn't matter. You have a reference point, and from that point to your straight line, if it makes a perpendicular right there, that's your R, okay? And theta is the angle between the straight line and the x-axis. So if you know these R and theta, then you can represent the straight line just by R equals x cos theta plus y sine theta. Okay, and this r and theta correspond to the half space representation of this specific line. So this entire line can be just represented by r and theta values, that's it. So each line in this coordinate system is just one data point. Okay, this makes it easy for many applications. For example, if you are coming from uh, material science or geology background, and if you used uh, electron microscopes, for example, you may have heard of a technique called EBSD, electron backscatter diffraction. So where the electrons are grazing off your sample surface, and if your sample uh, is crystalline, it has some crystal structure, then you see a diffraction pattern, and that shows up on the screen as a Kikuchi pattern, yeah, which is like these almost parallel straight lines, this kind of slight parabola, but almost straight lines. And to detect them, most of these commercial software packages, they actually use half transformation. So once you transform it, each line is shown as uh, a peak that you can easily identify. Once you identify that, then it's up to you what you want to do with those straight lines, okay? So that's the that's the theory. And uh, uh, just to take this a further uh, uh, deep, let's say there is a straight line that's represented going through these three data points. Now let's pick the first data point and then you draw a line, right? I mean, with this along this data point, the line can be here, the line can go that way, the line can go this way, which is obviously the right line we are trying to detect. And it can go any different direction. So what happens is you draw these various lines, in fact, when we do this half transformation, you can define, hey, look at uh, 1,000 uh, uh, different lines, which would be, make it a bit slow, but you can do that, or 100 of these lines, draw 100 lines, going from minus uh, 90 to 90 degrees, or minus 180 to 180 degrees, right? So you can do these, and then for each of this line, calculate the distance, okay, uh, from this line to the origin and the angle, and then change this and then change it again, and then change it again, right? So once you do that, you can actually summarize it. You can say that, okay, for this specific data point, when you keep changing it, for this theta, you get that R. For that theta, you get this R, right? So you have a table now. Now move on to the next data point and do exactly the same. Move on to the next data point, do the same. Now, if we are trying to detect this blue line that goes through these three data points, then the R and theta must be the same because a line is represented by r and theta. So you identify r and theta, that looks pretty much the same, and this is basically the coordinates for that specific line, okay? So this is a quick uh, summary, and uh, when you plot r and theta, uh, in this example, angle on the x-axis and the distance on the y, you see how one, in this case, you have two lines in the image. One line is represented here, the other one is here. All you need to know is now, what are the coordinates so you can define this line? So we're going to do this again uh, in Python. Few lines, that's it, okay? So let's jump into the code. Now, before jumping, uh, one quick note, I uh, instead of hand drawing, you can draw your own lines in paintbrush or whatever. Uh, a fun exercise I'll tell you, uh, if you have Windows system or any system, you have a way of drawing, right? So go ahead and draw like a, two or three straight lines, but then also do squiggly lines, almost straight lines, and see if, uh, if this uh, half transform detects any of those. In fact, uh, ideally it should ignore all the squiggly ones and only detect the straight lines. 
right? Because that's only represented by R and theta, right? A given straight line. But anyway, so I did a quick Google search and I found this image. Uh, luckily, it gives me what the answer is, 43 degrees between these two lines, right? Well, if you, if you measure the angle right there, it's 180 minus 43. But anyway, it gives me the 43 degrees. So I know what I should expect when we measure angle uh, later on as part of our code. So let's use that, jump into the code and uh, no special libraries. Actually, scikit image actually has uh, half line and half line peaks. Uh, uh, so from scikit image.transform, we're going to use half line. Half line is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, define this uh, half transformation. It's actually performing this transformation and half line peaks is where it identifies peaks in the half transformed space. So between these two, we should be good. So let's go ahead and run that. And then uh, the next one is pretty straightforward, NumPy, OpenCV, so we can open an image, and PyPlot, so we can plot it. So let's go ahead and import this image. Now, one thing I should mention is this image, uh, you see the bright background and dark lines. Uh, it, it makes it easy if you have dark background and bright lines, so we can invert this image, okay? Uh, if not, if I just go ahead and plot this, Let's look at the plot. This is how the image is. Let's remove everything and let's plot this one more time. Okay, so this is how it is. I just want to invert the image and I'm I'm pretty sure you know how to do that, right? So my image is nothing but an NumPy array. So I just put this, I don't know what that, it's called a tilde, I guess. Uh, you put that and image, so it negates this entire thing. It inverts the whole thing. Now, if you plot it, you should see, there you go. So you're dark and bright lines, okay? Now, when we apply the transform, it's not going to detect this as a straight line because it's not. It's not going to detect 43 as a straight line because it's not. Let's hope it only detects these two straight lines. That's it, okay? Now, what's the next thing? Remember, we, at a given data point, we are spanning, we are trying to draw different lines, okay? How many of those? 1,000 lines, 100 lines, how many? Let's actually define 180 lines going from minus pi over two to pi over two. Okay, so that's what our space is. So it gives us 180 day, uh, 80 points between minus pi over two to pi over two. And then half line, let's just uh, uh, take our image, apply the half line transform and at all of these tested angles. Okay, what comes out is the half space coordinates, theta and distance. So let's go ahead and do this and look at the output. Okay, so you have your half space uh, of R uh, with 1060 and theta 180. And here you have R, like distance, <coughs> excuse me, 1060 of them and theta 180 because that's what we defined here. Okay, let's go ahead and plot this half space. Okay, remember now we have, what do we have in half space? 1060 by 180, right? This is our half space. So here, because we have two lines in our image, hopefully we should see two peaks, right? We have two lines we should see two peaks. So let's go ahead and plot it. So there you go. There is one peak there. There is one peak here. This peak uh, somewhere around here, this data point and uh, that much distance. And this one is uh, again. So we don't know, I mean, let's extract these, these distances and uh, thetas. So we can calculate the angle between these two. But I hope this makes sense. See, there's a lot of other you know, noise right there, but then the peak here and here, these are the two lines that we have in our image. Now, how do we find out what these uh, uh, coordinates are for those two? That's exactly where we have half line uh, peaks. Remember, we imported that from our scikit image transform. So let's go ahead and apply that. And what it gives us is uh, same thing, half space, theta and distance. If you just look at H, you see there are two right there and your distance, there are two, because we have two lines, two peaks, that's it. It identified two peaks, it gave us the coordinates. Now we just need to uh, calculate the angle between these two. Now before doing that angle calculation, let's, uh, this code I shamelessly copied directly from Huff's uh, transform scikit image documentation, where they just plotted these lines, okay? I don't wanna reinvent what they have done. So all we're trying to do here is just plot it. So here is the original image, here is the half transform, and here is the two lines. As you can see, it did an amazing job in detecting these two lines. This is just nothing but our original image with an overlay of these two lines, yeah, that it detected. So all we need to do is now calculate the angle between, this is pretty easy. Uh, it's, uh, it's easy for us to define angle 
in uh, uh, angles and not radians. So let's convert radians into angles, right? Otherwise, it's give, uh, giving us in radians. So this is uh, basically what I'm trying to do right there. And then the difference in angle is uh, basically my max in angles minus minimum in angles, right? So this, this is my uh, difference right there. And I can print this out. In fact, if you look at angle difference, let's do that. Print, this is called angle, oops, sorry underscore difference if you plot this oops we get a value of 136.75 which is nothing but this angle okay now to get this angle we just need to do 180 minus that's exactly what i'm doing right there 180 minus that which is 43.24 here it says 43 degrees well it's down to tenth of a degree uh, well even more precise right here between these two these two uh, uh, lines so now you know how to detect straight lines using half transformation and of course to calculate the angles but uh, it depends on depending on your application you may want to do something else once you detect the straight lines so uh, uh, again there is something called half circles to detect circles. Go ahead and look up uh, half circles on scikit image documentation. There are a lot of these cool uh, image uh, analysis, or you can call this uh, object detection, or you know, it, 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 it falls between image analysis and object detection, right? So we are detecting straight lines or something that is straight uh, in your image. So uh, again, Applications are numerous, but now you know that something like Huff Transform exists and how to use it in Python. Thank you very much. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I know you'll love these videos. Thank you.